So, welcome to Vienna. Uh, it's uh, it's great to to have you here. Uh, I thought before we go into the the hands-on uh, approach on on how to how to use uh, Semantic Media Wiki, uh, we might uh, we might reflect a little. Um, what is it all about? Um, so I want to give a, a short uh, introduction about wikis and what makes Semantic Media Wiki so special. How does it fit in an, in an IT landscape? Um, so this is what I, uh, I have uh, uh, prepared for you today. Um, okay. uh, a short introduction. I work at the KDZ, that's the Center for Public Administration uh, Research. Uh, actually right uh, just across the, the street, we are an, an NGO um, that is uh, Modern, that is uh, uh, doing uh, modernization projects in, in public administration, so we actually only target at, at public administration bodies. Um, I'm also a member of the Austrian chapter of Open Knowledge Foundation. You might have heard uh, them. Um, they're uh, um, very active in promoting the idea of, of openness in, in all areas of, of society. And uh, nothing new here. Uh, I'm a Semantic Media Wiki uh, enthusiast, I can say. Uh, I've started using it from the version 0 0.9, I, I believe, in 2006, so very early. Uh, it worked perfectly, and the uh, the wiki that uh, the, the first public wiki I, I did with with this uh, early version uh, still runs. So uh, without without major uh, uh, hassles in, in in upgrading. So uh, I think uh, this also uh, means means something uh, uh, to the quality of the of the software. Uh, I just want to give you some thoughts on, on the topic of IT and, and knowledge management, uh, some basic ideas of uh, wikis and what's so special about uh, semantic wikis, especially semantic media wiki, and maybe give, us, give you a, a short first example and, and uh, maybe some concluding remarks. So the first thing is you have to, to ask yourself, how do we organize? Um, if you are alone in your... Uh, uh, you can organize pretty much the way you want to, you feel comfortable with. Uh, but as soon as you collaborate with other people or as soon as you have IT uh, uh, coming along, you have to, you have to reconsider. Um, and there is, there is um, the, the other question is, what tools do we use? Um, there is this uh, example, but uh, this one I, I, I made up, but it's a, a real life example. It, it happened to us. Um, if you do a, a to-do list as an, a table within a, a Word document, you can do this, of course. Uh, everybody knows how, how to do this, it's easy. Uh, but you all know, okay, you're also smiling, well, maybe you should uh, do this in, in an Excel spreadsheet at least, or maybe you, you could use some task management software, or you, or you want to put the, your to-do list in the, in the calendar, you can do this. So there are, there are different uh, approaches, and the, uh, um, the important part is where do you save this document and who can access this document and, and what if, if he or she wants to, wants to edit this document? Uh, who will find it? That's a big problem in organizations. You know, they have, they have uh, thousands of Word and Excel and other documents and they cannot find anything anymore. Uh, I, I see this often in, in, uh, in real life. So we have the, the problem of this classical dilemma in IT projects. We have users they need solutions for their tasks. They have some tasks they, they want to get achieved and then they need uh, software support or, or uh, IT support for that. But they, they are not up to date. What, is, what are the, the, the uh, latest tools around? That's not their job usually. Um, and they cannot often f formulate in, in, in an IT uh, language way so that the IT guys know, ah, okay, they need this, they need that, so I, I understand. The, IT guys uh, hopefully know what, what uh, kind of IT systems are out there, what software solutions do we have, um, what uh, do we have in our portfolio, but what is out there, what could we think of. But they uh, hardly understand uh, the use cases of the, of the users uh, thoroughly. Uh, this is just natural. It's, it's, uh, nobody is, is, is to blame here. But uh, you have to be uh, aware of this. So, uh, and there came uh, wikis, uh, very prominently, of course, with uh, Wikipedia technology-wise. 
uh, it was actually nothing, nothing groundbreaking, right? Some, some, some text stored in some database. There are even uh, wiki software that uh, doesn't even use a database, such as flat text files stored somewhere with uh, ease of use, okay? Uh, it, it was much more easier than, than uh, 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 content management systems. The, but but the, the, the more, more interesting aspect is this uh, social software aspect. So everybody can, can join in, everybody can edit, everybody, uh, each edit is, is, is transparent. And uh, what I especially like is this um, uh, knowledge creation on the fly. If I write an article about Vienna, uh, I might have the feeling that there should be an article about the Danube River. So I just mark uh, a, a link to a page called Danube River. Uh, and I don't write this page because I don't have the time now, but somebody else might find, okay, there, there was somebody who put this link there and who thought that, that there should be uh, an article about the, the, the Danube River. Um, so um, this is really something uh, without pre-structuring everything and without, you know, uh, w without the aim of uh, um, we know everything uh, before we start. Uh, you just, we, we just go ahead and, and, cre and, and, and put our ideas down and uh, learn what others uh, find interesting. So, um, of course, there's not only uh, MediaWiki, there are other uh, around 100 or, or more uh, software types of, of wiki software. Uh, most of them are open source, so we have no license cost. The question is how big is the community around uh, these products? But uh, MediaWiki is probably the, uh, the uh, undoubtedly largest uh, wiki software with, with a very big community. So this is uh, something very basic that you all are uh, uh, aware of. Wikipedia is the application, um, is the idea of uh, an online uh, encyclopedia that everybody can edit. Uh, this idea is, is put forward by, by the Wikimedia F Foundation, that's the, the, the operator of this platform and also the, the developer uh, or the yeah, main, main, main governance body for the development of the software, and the software is called MediaWiki, but this uh, is nothing new probably to you. Um, interesting, uh, wikimatrix.org, if you, if you are more into uh, wikis in organizational settings, you can, uh, you can see, you can compare uh, uh, different wiki engines. Um, for example, Confluence is uh, one wiki uh, engine that is not of open source, but it's, it's very commonly used in, in organizations, and there are others as well. But uh, I think for the, for, the, for the rest of our conference, we will pretty much only talk about uh, MediaWiki, and uh, we have a good reason for, uh, in doing so. So um, especially in, in, in organizations, uh, something, um, some, some, some basics have to, be, have to be understood. Of course, you have still Word documents, Excel documents, PDF documents, PowerPoint documents. Maybe you have documents that need, that need an official approval. Uh, records management and electronic signature. This is all very uh, valid use case you have, but for this, uh, don't use a wiki. Uh, for this, uh, this is um, in the worst case only only uh, stored in the file system, or uh, you might have some other open source or, or proprietary systems who store these documents for you, who, who can uh, uh, manage these documents for you. But there are many uh, applications in, in organizations where the, the Word document is just there because people don't know where to put it else. So for example, if you have a, a quality management uh, a project and you want to do a, a, a handbook for quality management in your organization, of course you, you could write it in a, in a Word document, but you don't have to. You, you could put it uh, elsewhere. Uh, so uh, you could put it in uh, wiki, wiki pages, for example, and you, you don't need Word documents for this, pur for this purpose anymore. So um, wikis are really for, for the content of what you would uh, otherwise put in, in documents. You have, you have in a regular wiki only text uh, with some, some categories. Um, the database functions is a speciality of semantic media wiki. Uh, you, can, you, you, you can also upload documents, of course. Uh, it's done in, in, in Wikipedia. It's, it's actually um, um, also quite, um, quite good. Uh, if you want to upload the same document, it warns you. This document has already been uploaded, even if you change the name, so because there's some hash function behind it. So you, you, of course you can upload documents, and it, it makes sense if you say there is a document that I want to upload, or a, a graphic or something. But um, if you uh, 
uh, just be aware, a wiki is not a document management platform. Um, so uh, documents should be maybe an, an exception. Um, and the other big difference, uh, and th th that's even more interesting actually, is if you look at, at classic uh, web content management systems, they, uh, their, uh, their uh, main, uh, main question is control. How do we control uh, which person uh, is allowed to edit which section on our big uh, website and who needs to approve this before it goes online and all this. And, and uh, these content management systems have built around <coughs> this, uh, around this, this question. Uh, wikis do that per default, I would say quite differently. Uh, wikis say we are, we are, we're going to solve this problem by transparency. Every, everyone can view or edit uh, pretty much everything. Um, there are restrictions on actions, so who can edit or who can, uh, who can view even, uh, but not so much on, on, on content types. Um, you can do this by uh, namespaces, but uh, it's usually not a, a very good idea to say, uh, in this section of, of my wiki, these five us users should be able to edit, and on this section, other, the other five should be. Um, so this is not what a, a, a wiki was, was made. Um, but how, how do they handle the problem of what if uh, somebody edits something that's wrong? Well, it's, uh, every change is visible, as, you, as uh, most of you know, and there's an easy rollback mechanism. So it's very easy to, to, to undo changes that uh, another user did. And uh, this has also an, uh, a big uh, advantage. It uh, enables a cultural change that we need in many organizations. We have uh, uh, department silos and the uh, everything we do in, in, in IT is how can access uh, uh, what information at what time and how to prevent access. Um, but in many, in many applications, uh, especially uh, knowledge management uh, applications, every, everybody should know what's in the wiki. So this is why we, uh, we, we use it. And uh, it's not a problem that the other department can look in our wiki. It's, it's a benefit because if, if we have uh, mistakes in there, they can either uh, correct them themselves or at least tell us um, and uh, we can learn. And uh, every edit uh, that is done is, is very transparently uh, uh, stored in the wiki. So um, if, you, um, if you haven't uh, already, you should, you should get to know uh, uh, yourself a little bit around uh, MediaWiki, about the user interface and uh, the navigation, about uh, uh, categories, uh, discussion pages, uh, and and more. Uh, maybe there is some. Uh, you know, uh, I can show you uh, this. For example, this is a MediaWiki uh, installation. So you have here that this is a, uh, using the classical vector skin. So there, uh, there is the navigation menu. You all, you always have. Uh, the page, the actual page, and then there is called a discussion page. I, I always think of it as the, 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 the backside of, of, of the page. Um, it can be used, and it is used uh, on Wikipedia for actually discussing. So if you don't uh, agree on the text that is written here, or, or if, if you think there should be something else written here, you, you usually put it on a discussion page. Inside an organization, you, you can use it for different purposes as well, so you don't have to use it for a discussion. Um, uh, but that's, uh, that's what, the, what the main purpose is. Then you have uh, user-specific uh, navigation. You can have your, your own settings here. Uh, and this is your, your uh, user uh, uh, page. So each user has, has their own page. Um, and then here is this uh, uh, navigation bar where you can uh, uh, read or edit uh, uh, the page you're currently viewing. Or you can see the version history. Or you can, if you have the rights, delete the, uh, the page or move. That's also quite interesting. Uh, 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 new, uh, people who, who are not familiar to, to wikis often ask, how can I rename a page? Well, it's, it's not uh, renaming. It's, it's called moving. Yeah? So, um, you can protect pages. So uh, you can have pages that, uh, that uh, only uh, special users uh, uh, can edit. Um, and there's this reload button if, if some query is behind the page, you, you might want to uh, reload it here. So that's uh, AI. And, and, and of course, the, the full text search um, also very important. So, so these are the, 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 the main items that uh, you should be familiar with uh, in, in, in Semantic MediaWiki. 
uh, or in, in MediaWiki in, in general. So uh, wikis are great for, for textual information. They, they are very easy to use. Uh, they're easy to edit. You have this full text search, OK? Uh, and you have these categories of organizing pages. And, and uh, you, you would not believe uh, how many wikis and organizations I saw that didn't even use the, 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 the categories. So, so people would write pages. And then they would write pages called A, B, C, where they would list all the pages that they've written with the topic A. But there is this great uh, category uh, uh, thing. So you, you just have to put one page in a category. And you simply do that by adding a link to a category. Uh, a category. For example, um, there is uh, the link to the category capitals in Europe of one page would put the page for Vienna in uh, uh, in this category, and if the category doesn't exist, then I just made it up. So this is also the flexibility of, of this system. So please use this category system. But um, of course, uh, in, in uh, Wikipedia uh, already, you can see the, 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 the limits of that. Because um, you have uh, categories for the, the top cities, or categories for the largest cities, or categories at, over categories, that's that's one weakness. There are other weaknesses. Uh, if you read in, a, in, a, in an article 99532, you have no idea what it is. Um, uh, is it a phone number? Is it some uh, some other measurement <coughs> indicator? You have no uh, re relations, just links. Uh, if from the from the, uh, the Wikipedia page to BDC, there's a link to the page Krakow. What could it mean? How? What? What does this link mean? So how are they linked? There's just something, something pointing there. So there is no querying of data if you want to 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 get all the uh, number of uh, inhabitants of all the, the major cities in, in Europe in Wikipedia. You simply cannot do that. Um, there is DBpedia that uh, tried to to solve this problem, but uh, in in your own wiki you you simply cannot do that. Um, and this, um, this lack of structure leads to manual effort. So uh, in Wikipedia, what, 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 what they can do, because everybody can edit, um, is, uh, well, if we want to have a list of all mayors of Vienna uh, from the 1950s, you, then you, you just build a list and you, you add the content manually. Uh, we, we don't want this kind of work inside an, an organization. So uh, if you want uh, a list of the kings of Georgia, yeah, fine, but you have to manually uh, add, add entries here. Um, or, yeah. So this is basically what, uh, so what a wiki page looks for the, for the computer, right? Uh, is anybody in this room who can read this? No? Is anybody here who knows what language this is? Georgian. Georgian, OK. Yeah. Uh, so that's Georgian. I think it's a it's a very nice it, uh, language. It looks like from the from the elves uh, or something like that. Uh, so this is basically uh, I think the Wikipedia article of or the, the start page of the Georgian Wikipedia. So uh, and this is as far as as Wikipedia gets in assisting you how to find your content. So uh, if you if you search for some term for this. If you add it in the search box, and it, uh, it, will, it, it will find this page. But uh, the wiki, as we all in this room, have no idea what this means. So it just delivers in a, in a full text search what you enter. Um, so this is how dumb uh, actually not only Wikipedia, but our Word documents are. Our Excel documents, not so much. They have, uh, they have metadata. But uh, usually our uh, Word documents are as dumb as this. So they don't, Word doesn't know what you're typing. You know? uh, uh, it might uh, actually uh, autocorrect your language, but uh, it doesn't understand what you're writing in, in there. Um, so if you have uh, a list of cities and towns uh, in Georgia, uh, you have here uh, population data uh, for, for some years. So this is a real life example in, in Wikipedia. Uh, and you have here the population, uh, population. Uh, you can see that there is, uh, this is from 2012, so the, the number here is slightly different. The reason is, might, there might be different sources for that, but the reason is this number here does not have anything to do with this number here, except that we know, because we can read it now in English, that it should be the same, but it isn't. So uh, uh, this is um, uh, what, we, what we're going to hear uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, at the first conference day, we have a talk about Wikidata, a very interesting project that tries to solve this or, or will solve this. Uh, 
uh, or, uh, or it, it, it's already in, uh, partly in place. But for, uh, if you use wikis inside your organization, Wikidata doesn't help you much. Uh, you can also use it, but uh, I think it's, it, it's, it's too complex for that. Um, so this is, this is why uh, Semantic Media Wiki was first uh, thought of by uh, Markus Kretsch. Unfortunately, uh, he cannot be here at this uh, SMWCon because uh, in the next, I don't know, some days he's going uh, he's, he's to be a, a, a daddy. So uh, he, he didn't want to travel to Vienna. So, uh, yeah, but um, uh, there is Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, uh, there is a big community uh, all around the world with people using it, people uh, uh, coding uh, here, um, and also commercial companies uh, giving, giving support. Um, yes, and uh, you can also look at these uh, lines of, of code over the years and uh, uh, you have the Semantic Wiki, uh, Media Wiki uh, homepage, so uh, you should you should uh, check it out. But you you probably all uh, are aware of it. What's interesting and important, if you have uh, a Media Wiki installation uh, somewhere sitting around, and you say, well, uh, um, do I have to throw it all away? No, you don't. Um, you can uh, Semantic Media Wiki leaves your Media Wiki installation pretty much intact. It's an, an extension uh, that doesn't pretty much touch anything. Um, it's no, no, no patching involved, so you, you uh, install a, a bunch of extensions. Uh, and the already existing unstructured content can stay there. Uh, that's one option. Or uh, you can also um, use mechanisms how to transform it. For example, if you have, um, uh, if you have this, uh, this article in your uh, wiki about a city, you can define, for example, a, a semantic form. That's also an important mm -hmm. extension in this, in this area. And say, I want uh, articles of the category cities uh, to be edited with this form. And this form has this text in, uh, inside uh, uh, on, the, on the last part of the form. But this form says, what country is it from? When was it established? Uh, uh, what area is it in? And, and so on. And, and, and you, you, you can define these forms. Uh, and once you have uh, set these forms um, and you can you, you hit on edit on, uh, on this page, it says, well, uh, this page is configured to be edited with this form, but it, it has not yet. Do you want to? And um, you can fill out the, the forms with the data and everything that, that was on the page stays on the page. So uh, it, it's, uh, of course, you, you should then remove this in, in a later phase because you, you, you don't need this in the, in the, on the wiki text page any, any longer, but uh, it can also uh, stay there. So uh, don't be afraid of uh, in, in, in using semantic media wiki, it, it leaves your wiki untouched. Um, uh, another option is um, I have my unstructured uh, text information that's very valuable, that's great, I want to keep it there, but I want to add some new content that is highly structured. So I, I, I'm gonna use it for this and, and, and not for our other pages. So uh, it gives you basically all the tools you need for a collaborative web database. So you can, uh, you can think of, uh, by the way, I, I, uh, I didn't uh, explain that this, this, this uh, mystery term uh, semantic does just mean what does it mean. So uh, uh, semantics means what does this data mean, what does this link mean. Um, uh, you can also very simply think of uh, a very sophisticated uh, web database. Um, uh, where you can enter data and text, uh, even using using forms, uh, highly structured forms. You can uh, represent data and text within this wiki. You can also re reuse the data inside the wiki. Uh, you can visualize data and you can export, of course, uh, this data. And uh, also a, a very uh, uh, very fortunate thing uh, f for me, uh, especially because I'm not a programmer, is everything is done through configuration. So. Uh, uh, Everything you do, um, you have to, and this is going to be, um, I think, a uh, uh, topic for, for, for this t tutorial today. Um, if you define an attribute, so a, a data value, um, if you define a form or define a template or define uh, some filters, um, these are all wiki pages. So you all you have to learn, you have to understand how it's done, okay, that there's a, a learning curve. But uh, you, you are only editing uh, wiki pages. Uh, you don't have to program anything. You don't have to. You, uh, you don't have to uh, go through to, to some uh, to some uh, sophisticated back end where all this is done. Um, think of it as an uh, Microsoft Access uh, that is on the web. Uh, you have to. You, you have to, the, the, the database in the background. Um, you have 
these attributes that are also in the, in the in the access database. You have to you can set up forms. You can do that in access on your desktop uh, database. You set up templates and 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 all that. Uh, but this on uh, on a website that everybody can use and uh, is very interactively. And try to uh, try to imagine who, whoever has uh, of you has, uh, has worked with with uh, different databases, uh, access or, or other ones. If you enter something that's wrong, it's in there wrong, and uh, it's hard to uh, to undo it. You, you, you might want to uh, go to your latest backup and, and say, well, I've I've entered data that's wrong. Uh, here you just uh, as all is is wiki text, all can be undone as easy as every other wiki text page. So. Um, that's uh, that's a, a, a quite uh, advanced thing, I, uh, I guess. So uh, it gives you actually um, the benefits of a, a, a simple media wiki with this unstructured text. We have this, the, all the strengths that wikis have. Uh, we have the structure, the simple structuring mechanisms of categories and namespaces. Uh, you're going to hear about this, I believe, uh, today. You have the full text search, of course, and you have this collaborative tool. And you have the, the, the benefits if, when you use Semantic Media Wiki of uh, structured data. So it's a, a web database with online forms, with result lists or result formats, as they are called, um, with a faceted search. So that means not only full text search, but you can search uh, um, uh, for uh, specific types of content. And then you can say, OK, uh, I want to see all entries that have the year 2014 or other years. Uh, so you, you can filter this down. And, uh, you, uh, and that's also very interesting. You can also do automatically, uh, automatically generated pages. Uh, so this is quite, uh, uh, quite spooky, actually. Uh, if you have your uh, semantic media wiki set up, for example, uh, let's, let's put it very, very simple. You, you say you want to have pages that are cities. And uh, you say that they have a country where they are located in. And you don't want to have, or you, uh, at, a, at a later stage, you, you want to add uh, pages about the countries. You could tell a semantic media wiki, well, um, if somebody uh, enters in the form the page for, for the city Tbilisi and adds in, uh, add in, 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 the, in the attribute field country some value, we don't know yet, we don't know where, where Tbilisi is, some value, then um, there is a, a, a template for, uh, for countries, and automatically this template will, will produce the page that was just entered. So you enter the page Tbilisi, and you add in the form field uh, country the name or the, the item Georgia, and you, you, you click Save, then you save the, 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 the page for Tbilisi, and Semantic Media Wiki, will see, oh, well, there's a template and a form that, that is corresponding in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to automatically uh, put this page named Georgia. Uh, and and uh, it hasn't been entered before by anybody. So uh, I'm going to do that for, for the user based on this template. And the, the template maybe can, can automatically hold a list of all pages that have country in Georgia. So the, there you, uh, there you are, and so the, the wiki is, is, is taking care of that every, for every country you entered in any uh, city page, you have a page that lists all these countries. Um, so um, uh, if this was not uh, uh, clear to you, I think this, this can be shown uh, uh, later. Um, but it's, uh, it's a very advanced feature, I would say. Yeah, you have uh, export formats. Uh, I'm going to come to that. Uh, a short uh, example. Um, we have the, the Vienna History uh, Wiki. Uh, it was just uh, released uh, uh, two weeks ago. So um, you have this. Uh, you're going to hear uh, more details about this uh, on, on Friday. I just want to, um, to show you what the semantics is uh, uh, in there. Um, for example, you have this, uh, this uh, page of Sigmund Freud. Um, and you have all kinds of, uh, of further data here. But uh, from the first glance, this, this could be a regular media wiki as well. So you don't know if this is just text here or if, if there's uh, if more to that. Um, and for example, um, it is configured this, this way. If you add, this is not a person, but a park. So there's a park in Vienna that is called Sigmund Freud Park. Uh, and here uh, it says, where, where is it? Uh, when was it opened? 
and um, uh, it's called named after. So this park is named after the person Sigmund Freud. Uh, and uh, as soon as you do that, uh, in the page of Sigmund Freud, you have this, uh, this, this tab that's called uh, name patron or something like that. Um, every building or park or, or whatever that was named after Sigmund Freud is listed here without anybody add, uh, uh, adding this here in this article. So this is uh, what we call in uh, Semantic Media Wiki an ask query. So the, the, the template for Sigmund Freud um, says, well, uh, display uh, whatever is entered here and here and here and here. Uh, I want to ask what other uh, what, what pages are in this wiki that have named after the value of my page name, Sigmund Freud, and please list them here. So uh, this is uh, how it is done in, in Semantic Media Wiki without any, any effort. So if somebody adds some, I don't know, some uh, Sigmund Freud uh, street uh, or something, then uh, it will automatically show up here without anybody having to touch this page. Uh, what else uh, is interesting, you can ask uh, uh, the wiki, so uh, um, it's a smart wiki, if you, if you want, uh, semantic media wiki makes wiki smart, if you want to put it this way. Um, so for, for example, this lists all pages of the category person with the birth year 1856 and uh, uh, male sex. So this lists you uh, all of this and this can simply not be done in, in, uh, in a classical media wiki instance. So uh, you have uh, you have this form, uh, and you, this is all customized, but there's no programming involved. Yeah. And uh, you have as an additional bonus, uh, because uh, it was thought of first as an addition to uh, Wikipedia, they thought of the, of the semantic web, of the idea of semantic web, you have an RDF export that comes for free. So uh, in, the, in the Vienna History Wiki, we now can, can say, well, this, this data about Sigmund Freud um, about his uh, birth date and, and, and his uh, 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 place of, of death uh, and even the, the symmetry where, where it is buried. We, have, we, can, we can release this as, as open data. The RDF export is, is just sitting there if you, if you use Semantic Media Wiki. And many, many more uh, result formats they are called. So um, if I want to list um, anything for what you had before, uh, every object that has named after Sigmund Freud, uh, it's called uh, listed as uh, an unordered list. You can list it as a table, you can list it as a CSV, you can list it, uh, you can show it as a diagram, um, you can list it if it's, if it's time data in a, in a calendar format, you can list it in a, in a timeline that's movable. If it's geographical data, you can, you can display it on a Google map or, or on an OpenStreetMap. So there are uh, different, uh, different so-called result formats in a different extension uh, available, more than 40. So uh, there's, there's plenty of things to do with, your, with the data and with the content. So um, if we uh, summarize it, um, regular wikis in organizations uh, very often are niche products. Um, and this might be very reasonable, um, because if you are perfectly well organized with the documents, with the document management system, uh, you're perfectly organized with your uh, content management system for your, for your web, uh, you're perfectly organized with, your, with the databases, that's fine, then you have some um, some niche uh, uh, use case where uh, wikis are, are interesting and can have their, their, their meaning, so that's, that's fine. Um, uh, but with Semantic Media Wiki, you can, if you want, if, if, if you choose to do so, uh, really uh, use it as a, as a much bigger knowledge management system. Um, you, can, uh, you can say, okay, uh, we have our text documents we can put as, as wiki pages, uh, we can import uh, databases uh, um, or we can query data from other databases or import them and, and then close down this database because we don't need it. Or you can say, uh, I want to query these databases on a regular basis. Um, you can consume data from the semantic web, open government data. You can put uh, data to the semantic web uh, or uh, also open government data or, or open data. Um, you can. Uh, of course, you have wikis uh, that's uh, still there. You can 
also think of mechanisms on, on how to use your RSS feeds in, on your websites or the other way around. So you, you can communicate with your websites uh, and all that. So this does not mean that for every application in every organization, Semantic Media Wiki is the best bet, but I, I just wanted to, to show you it's much more than just a, a wiki with some fancy features. Um, it can be used um, uh, as that, of course. Uh, uh, it doesn't have to be used, and there are, uh, there are, uh, I'm sure there are many use cases where, where you would say, no, I'm not going to use that because of uh, tons of reasons. So, but um, I just want to, to give you uh, the big picture. So you can use it as intranet portals. Um, I've seen many intranets that are really boring and lame and, and users don't like them. Uh, that's all because they cannot participate and uh, it's, it is boring yeah, uh, most of the time. You can use it for project management, project documentation, for internal knowledge management aspects, for knowledge portals, also external ones like we have the Vienna History Wiki. The Vienna History Wiki is, is not only something for, for the people now to read or, or to see, uh, it's also something where the different departments of the city of Vienna store their data in. So it's, it's something that they, they, they put on the web and they use it for their internal purposes as well. So that's pretty interesting, I think. Um, you can use it for skills management uh, or for open GLAM products, uh, projects. GLAM here means opening up galleries, libraries, archives and museums. So uh, content of archives and museums can pretty, pretty well be opened up uh, to the web with Semantic Media Wiki. Uh, for crowdsourcing uh, uh, projects, for semantic web projects, of course, and uh, yeah. Just uh, some last uh, remarks. Um, there's a T missing here. Don't. Does it mean? Uh, uh, don't underestimate the organizational success factors. Uh, and this is just my my impressions. What what are these success factors? There is a discrepancy between what the organization wants, uh, and it has good reasons for wanting this, and what uh, the users need. So uh, from an organizational point of view, uh, I want that uh, the processes in my organization are up to date, well documented, so if somebody leaves or gets sick, somebody else can look it up and it's, it's up to date. Um, this is very uh, valuable and uh, you, 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 can, you, can, you can pretty much understand from an organizational, from a management point of view, you need this. It's boring for the, for the users. Uh, users who do their job know how to do their job, they don't need uh, process descriptions. Um, uh, uh, they might need it when they have to, uh, when some new employee comes along and you have to show him everything. But what I do on a daily basis, I don't need some process documentation or uh, uh, for that. So you, you, you have to find content, even if you have the process approach or the organizational approach, you have to find content in, in your wiki, uh, being semantic or not, that that the users need on a, uh, in the best case, daily basis, or at least weekly, because uh, if, the, if you have content in there that they, they need once a year or once a month, they're not gonna look into, uh, into it, they're not gonna edit, they're, not, they're gonna forget how even the simplest things work. So uh, you need content that users need when, uh, on, a, on a daily basis. Um, you, you also need uh, a culture of, of trust and appreciation for um, I, I value that you as, as users uh, have interesting content to add. Yeah, please do so. Uh, it's not me who decides is this content relevant or not. You just put it in there. We have space. Uh, we have all space we need. Uh, everybody can see uh, everything and can change everything. Even it is, you, you, you can change something on my user page uh, or on my department page. You, please go ahead, it's not a problem, I'm gonna see it. And if I don't like it, I can call you up or I can uh, undo the changes or we can discuss on the discussion pages. So, um, um, and actually users cannot do anything wrong. If, if I use a, a wiki as a, an intranet portal in an organization, one user could delete the, the, the front page easily. Uh, but it's not a problem because uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be uh, undone pretty soon. Uh, without any, any hassle, without needing support of the IT department of uh, uh, getting to the last backup. Uh, you need uh, to motivate uh, your, your, 
your, your users, but you also need some, some kind of pressure or, or, or mandatory content. You, know? you cannot put a wiki and say, well, it would be nice if everybody would, would store what they, what they think of in this wiki. This would not work. So uh, you have to have some, uh, some areas where it is mandatory. If we decide we do, we're doing our project documentation in the wiki, it's in the wiki and it's nowhere else. And our, 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 our project leaders have to update it on, it on the wiki. I'm not going to accept, as a, uh, as a manager, I'm not going to accept some report in, in, in Word anymore because we have the wiki for that. So we have to make this clear once you have this uh, transition made. Um, and of course, managers also need to actively su support it. If, if you, if you uh, agree that uh, for, for your, your meeting minutes are going to be stored in the wiki, uh, if the manager says, but I, but I want them, uh, I, I want a, a printout of them, or, or I want it uh, as a Word document sent by email, uh, it's not going to work. So the manager has to say, if you want to look up the meeting minutes, here is the link. This is the, the, the link to our latest meeting minutes, uh, because it's in the wiki. Um, that's very important, I think. Um, and also, of course, the, the quality and, and, and quantity of, of content. Uh, I've seen, um, I've seen um, wiki projects where the IT department was asked, please, can we have a wiki? Uh, they said, okay, well, uh, it's, it's not a big hassle to install it. So here it is, your empty wiki, have fun. Um, an empty wiki is, is kind of boring you know, and kind of frightening. What do I do? Where do I put it? So uh, you need some initial content. You need some, some, some team uh, that puts in content where people say, oh, oh, that's interesting. Ah, I, I can use it. And I, I get the idea what it is about. It doesn't have to be tons of, of pages, but it has to be something there where people say, OK, uh, this, this could make sense. I, I can, I can uh, join in there, and, and I can use it, and maybe uh, add to that. And uh, usability and fun, of course. Uh, um, it can be nicely designed. Uh, the access to the wiki, don't underestimate that. Single sign-on uh, things are possible, so you don't have to log in extra. Uh, use these this, uh, uh, entry forms. Uh, pe try to keep people away from wiki text as much as you can. There can be sophisticated users who, who know how to format things. But uh, the, the, the average user in our, in our organization simply wants to, to edit some, some field and, and put data in, and that's it, yeah? uh, not more. So, so make it easy and make it fun, um, then uh, it, it can work. So thank you very much for this. Uh, I'd uh, pretty much like f questions or, or, or comments from you. Thank you.